What's up guys, it's Doll Matter here, and today we are going to be reacting to another President's Gamers video. So, we reacted to one the other day that was a compilation of them. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember who put it together, but it was a compilation of videos from like TikTok and uh, YouTube and all, all, all sorts of places of people who had used the AI to ma make different like Minecraft and Call of Duty, and there was a bunch of them. Uh, this one is specifically Halo, because... People suggested it. Um, obviously, I play a lot of Halo. Play, you know, I was recently playing Halo Infinite on stream. Uh, I've played a lot of Master Chief Collection on stream, and so people thought I would like this one. So this one is Gamer Presence Debate Halo. Now I'm not sure if they're debating the different Halo games or what's going on here, but I'm excited. So anyway, link to the original video down below. Uh, this is from Billy Cobb. I'm not sure if he's the original creator, but uh, I think so because it's a uh, it's a verified channel, so I assume he's the original creator. Anyway, link to the original video down below, and let's jump into it. Halo Reach is simply the best Halo. The campaign is hauntingly beautiful, and the custom games were the best of the best. And who could forget the armor customization? Overall, it's a wonderful homage to the rest of the Bungie series. Obama, don't go tell him. Okay, I, I, okay Obama has got some points there. The multiplayer, though, has its issues. Armor lock is a fucking pain in the ass. Um, really, the armor abilities as a whole... The sprint should have been just not done the way it was, right? Every time you sprint, it takes like 10 years to pull your gun back up. So if you're playing like SWAT, you literally cannot sprint. Because if you sprint around a corner and somebody's there, they're going to shoot you every time, right? So sprint is basically useless uh, against anyone good because they're just going to headshot you. And the rest of them are useless and or overpowered. Or useless or overpowered, right? Like, they kind of nerfed armor lock at one point, but yeah, fuck the armor abilities. Um, but yeah, other than that, oh, and also when they released a billion maps on Forge mode that all looked the same, that literally ruined the game. I stopped playing it after that. It was so bad because you you just get the same map over and over again. Like it wasn't actually the same map, but it looked the same. Tell me that experiment was the best Halo. The only people who believe that only do so because they were 12 years old when they played it. True. I'm a 61 year old man. Look, I like the campaign, I really do, but Campaign's God, great. they completely butcher the base mechanics of Halo with armor abilities. I True. think armor lock alone is primarily responsible for the huge divide that game caused in the fan base. True. Reach was the beginning of the downfall of the Halo franchise. True. And don't even get me started on sprinting. All right, fat ass, what do you think is the best Halo? Everyone knows Halo 3 is peak Halo. True. The campaign is infinitely replayable. Base Trump. Base Trump. <laughs> Halo 3 is by far the best Halo. Like, it, it's amazing how well it even holds up today. Like, I played every once in a while, and it's still so smooth. The matchmaking system was perfect. The armor is the most beautiful looking in the series. Hayabusa. And the introduction of Forge Katana. And theater added so much creativity in the community. Halo 3 ODST Firefight is also miles better than Halo Reach's Firefight, if you want to count that. Surely you can't possibly think Forge and custom games in Halo 3 are better than the improved Halo Reach version. Sure, it's better if you like looking at the same steel structures on Forge World constantly. Serious. Base! That's literally just what I was saying. And they added those fucking maps to the main game. Oh, that was so annoying when they did that. Because literally you would, like, you would just play, like, online, just trying to play random matches. And you get the same, it looks the exact same fucking, oh. Seriously. Forge World's buildable items have the color palette of a third world country. <laughs> Halo 3 is also responsible for all of the best custom games anyway, like Jenga, Fat Kid, Sky Castle, Duck Hunt. True. The list goes on. Halo 3 also had the better physics engine, which allowed for more dynamic custom games. True. Both of you are on crack. Only real homies know that it was actually Halo 2 that was the best. Halo 2 is... Halo 2 is the glitchy fucking mess. It is an amazing story. It is a glitchy fucking mess to play online. Responsible for engineering the Xbox Live matchmaking and game chat experience. That's the true. The campaign is easily the best written in the series, and beating it on Legendary eh. will put hair on your nuts. You I don't think it's the best written. I think, it, well, it's hard to divide the original three because they're like they're a true trilogy, like one, two, three, all blend together so well. It's hard to divide them as a campaign. Um, but I would say, like, the original trilogy and Reach are both amazing. The campaign after that, 4 is meh, 5 is trash, Infinite was pretty good. Um, but 2's multiplayer was just, it was rough. 
Not Halo 1 rough, but it's rough. It hasn't aged nearly as well as 3 or Reach or even 4. Four's aged surprisingly well, which is funny because at the time I didn't really like it, but like it's aged well. Even in a little lag co -op there. mode, the Iron Skull is defaulted. Shit is crazy. That's true. Halo 3 had everything Halo 2 did but expanded on it. Halo 2's hit scan detection makes it a lot more playable compared to the garbage projectile shooting in Halo 3. No. Seriously, I... Projectiles, projectiles are so much better than hit scan. One, one projectiles are so much better than hit scan. Two, there's literally glitches to kill people faster in Halo 2. Right? You have to, like... You have to understand how to glitch in order to be good at the game. That shouldn't be part of the game. I have to lead my battle rifle shots by a cubic mile. All of you are wrong. Halo Combat Reagan. Evolved is the best. Every console shooter today has Halo Combat Evolved to thank for the way it plays. Combat Evolved was the catalyst for all... I mean, no, they really have, like, 007 Goldeneye, but... Um, yeah. Like, Halo CE started it, but Halo CE is... The online, like the the multiplayer, is just not that good. Console shooters that came after it, and up until its release, there had been nothing quite like the majesty and scale of Halo. Ronald, that game is more ancient than I am. Shut up and get with the times. Besides, the balancing in that game sucks, whether it be the spawns or the insanely overpowered Magnum. Well, I like Halo Wars. Shut, Shut up, up, George. George. <laughs> <laughs> Halo Wars is actually pretty good. I mean, it's definitely not part of the main. Like, yeah, it's it's its own thing, but. Um, yeah, I gotta agree with Trump. Trump's by far the most based opinions. Biden's the most off base. Obama, I agree with. I would say ninety percent of what he said. The only thing I don't agree with is um, the fact that the multiplayer was the best. The multiplayer had a lot of issues. Honestly, Halo Three is the only thing that maybe they could have like if, if they had a sprint option. But I feel like they would have fucked it up like Halo Reach Sprint. Um, yeah. I don't know. Halo 3 is just so smooth. It plays so smooth to this day. Halo 2 is a little bit too clunky. Um, definitely improved from Halo 1. Halo 1 is just fucking rough. Like, it, it's, a, it's a good game to play. Uh, like, the story mode. Same with Halo 2. But, like, when you play them online, they are rough. Um, like, it's... It didn't age nearly as well as, like, 3 or Reach or 4 or, like, any of the more modern ones. The first two did not age as well. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say, Trump had the most based opinions in this by far. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.